So this is Adobe Illustrator, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the image that we wanna turn into vector graphics. So I'm gonna select it here, say open. We're just gonna click on the image, and we're gonna select image trace up here. This is gonna convert it into vector graphics. You see all the lines are nice and crisp now? So these are all a bunch of lines once we get it into AutoCAD. So we'll say file, export, and we gotta change it to an AutoCAD drawing. We wanna export it as a DWG. And we'll say export, okay, and we're good to go. So now we're gonna go into AutoCAD. Okay, so here in AutoCAD, we're just gonna open up that file we just created. And what it gives us is a block, so we need to explode it. So X, enter, select it again, X, enter. We had to explode it twice for whatever reason. And now you can see that there's a bunch of lines and I'm just gonna delete this border. And I wanna get rid of this hatching as well. Now, just from experience, I know that it's for whatever reason created two layers of all of this and if we go into fusion and try to select it it has a real problem with the double layers being stacked up so we're just going to go through and delete each layer so you see right here there's one delete there's still one if i hit delete again it's gone for good so i just got to go through right now and delete one of these instances okay i think that's everything so now I just need to scale this image down and add some text and a rectangle around it. And through the magic of movie video editing, I will accomplish that now. And this is what I came up with. You see I had to sync in the letters, but that's not necessary for the image itself. For whatever reason, when you import from AutoCAD into Fusion, it doesn't like the font. So this is what I have to do. Okay, so let's save this and import it into Fusion. Upload, select file, open, upload. All right, it's done uploading, close, double click to open it. We're gonna change, hit front, set current view as top. So now it's laying on its back. We'll go into cam, we'll say new setup. And we'll change the box size to, uh, let's call it 14 by 14 by 0.75, we know that's the thickness, and the origin will be bottom left corner. Okay, so we are now going to say engrave. We're gonna use our vGroove bit, and we are going to start selecting our geometry. And now we're going to start selecting inside of these borders. Okay, I think that's all the inner pieces selected. So we're going to look over here, our heights, they all look fine. Passes, fine. Linking, fine. Okay. And now it's going to generate our tool paths. And now we can right click and simulate it. Make sure everything is okay. Turn the stock on and I will hit play. Okay, so that looks perfect to me. So in order to create an outline around the image itself, I need to go into 2D, engrave. The tool is already selected, but whatever. And we will select the outer, and we will select the box. This is because otherwise it's gonna try to hollow out the entire Phoenix itself. We want to do the outside, and this is also going to put a ring or box around the outside, which we can remove later by editing the G-code. So, OK. And simulate and see what it does. OK, so see, it's going full depth on the bit right there. It's doing a half inch. So we need to change how far down it goes. So go in here, edit. And we will change our bottom height to negative 0, 02. And we'll take a look at that again. So you can see it's just kind of doing a scoring line. And now it traces the Phoenix itself. Perfect. So let's close this, and we can now do a post process. 
and we'll make sure G28 is set to no, and then we'll hit save and process our G code. Okay, so we're gonna load our G code we just made. And like anything else, the first thing to do under G54 is to write G0Z1 in order to clear our screws and lift it up before its first move. And we're gonna hit save, close this, and we are gonna go to toolpath, and we are going to go way down here. So in grave three, this is where we need to edit. And we need to remove everything up to right here, G0Z02. So we'll go and edit. Okay, so there's engrave three. So we are going to remove everything up to right here. We're gonna hit save, close this. It's gonna regenerate our tool path. And it looks like we're good. So now we gotta do is load up our stock and start it. Yeah. <laughs>